As everyone gets ready to transition to Google Analytics 4, assuming you haven't done it already, one of the things that uh, other stakeholders and folks who are more casual users of GA4 have noticed is that the interface is very different, very different from Universal Analytics, the previous version of Google Analytics. However, one of the features that is in Google Analytics 4 is the ability to customize the interface somewhat, at least to reorder it so that it's a little bit easier to, to make the transition to the new version. So if you are in charge of Google Analytics, if you are in charge of helping people understand it, this video will help you make those customizations to ease the transition as much as we can. So let's go ahead into Google Analytics here. We're going to use uh, this small business, the Boston Martial Arts Center. And you'll notice this is the stock default uh, GA4 interface. I'm going to go down here to the library. The library is where we can customize all of these menu items in the reporting section. So let's create a new collection. And the new collection is just going to be uh, us building a GA3 style menu. So in fact, we're going to call it that. We're going to call it GA3 transition. Let's go ahead and step through these menus. That's nice. Okay, go away. Now, here we have our topics. The topics are just section headers. If you remember in Universal Analytics, we had these section headers. We had audience. We had acquisition. We had behavior. We had conversion. These topics, these headings, are what our old users are used to seeing. Right? This is what they're comfortable with. So now in each section, you get an overview report and then detailed reports. So let's go ahead and put in some of those basics. So here's our users overview. Here is our, oh, let's add one more. Let's add a topic called retention because retention is a good thing to have. And we'll just add it at the very bottom so it doesn't confuse people too much. We'll add retention at the bottom here. We will have acquisition here. We'll have engagement in our behavior section. And let's look at our monetization in conversion. So those are our essential overviews. I and mean, you can add, if you don't want to use monetization, you can do something like generate leads instead. So if that's more your what your business does, put that in there. Next, we're going to go to our detailed reports. Now this is where we can start adding in uh, things like our users' demographics, right? And our users' tech details. And for acquisition, we can put in traffic acquisition. And we can add in user acquisition. We can also add in, if you've got Search Console integrated, you can add search queries. And you can add in landing pages. Actually, no, landing pages should go in behavior. So let's go to behaviors. We're going to add in events, which is the new standard type of measurement. Uh, let's go ahead and put organic search traffic in acquisition. We'll put landing pages in here. We'll put pages and screens at the top because that's what people are re uh, really remember. Okay. And then in conversion, we have e-commerce conversion if you want that. Uh, let's see. We've got queries, conversion, regular conversions. All right. And then we have user purchase journey. You might want to have promotions in acquisition. Okay. In-app purchases, if you have those, can go in conversions. <clears throat> so let's hit save. Okay, we've saved this GA transition menu. We'll hit the back button now. And we have our different uh, collections here. The life cycle one is currently published. We're going to unpublish that. And we're going to take our transition menu that we just made. I have a couple of these because I've done this a few times in these videos. We're going to publish our transition menu.
There we go. And I'm going to turn off that user menu. So we're going to unpublish this user menu. And now we can head right back to our regular reports section. And we have these menus that when we unfold them should ease the discomfort that users who have not been using GA4 will uh, feel when they use this. Now, these menus are platform-wide. They're not user-specific. So you will want to make sure that you do some good change management first. If you've already got users on GA4 and you've still got users on Universal Analytics, do some change management to help let them know what you're going to be doing and where they can find the different things. And then you can use this. And it's up to you if, or if you want to customize this over time, if you want to change things up. But this is a pretty straightforward way to look at um, all of the items that are in GA4. Now, it is not one-to-one. -one, right? Nothing about GA4 is one-to-one -one with Universal Analytics. But at least for people trying to navigate the, the new interface, this will ease things somewhat. If you'd like more training on Google Analytics 4, Go to trustinsights.ai slash GA4 course. I'll put the link down here. That is our course. It's five and a half hours, 35 lessons on every aspect of setting up Google Analytics for properly optimizing it, doing reporting inside it, as well as within Google Looker Studio, and it will get you up and running. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time.